so so what happens is is if i if i'm here what is the what is the length of this whole strip the strip that i uh, this is this is the length x at which we require the field so what is the length of the strip what is the length of the strip it is 2 pi r dr 2 pi r sorry what is the area now a length 2 pi r of the strip has got the width dr so the area is 2 pi r dr so what is the charge over it into sigma area into the charge density no coulomb per meter square into meter square that divided by 4 pi epsilon naught see charge into x so this into x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into into whatever is the distance from here to the power 3 by 2 now the distance here is r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 do we get that do we get that fine now it will require some some so so this is my de and this de is we know we know that 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 due to this this ring the 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 field is always vertically upward right so so the field is vertically upwards and it is something like this okay it is this this is this field but i have to take into account all the rings from radius 0 to capital R because I, I, I've assumed that this disk, this circular disk is made up of rings of varying radius, right? Increasingly varying radius. So E is equal to 2, 2 pi sigma, 2 pi sigma x. They are all constants into R dr divided by 4 pi epsilon naught upon r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 integral 0 to capital R. What do I do? How do I integrate this? Let r square plus x square is equal to u. So 2r dr is equal to du. Therefore e is equal to e is equal to 2 pi sigma x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into so this says that r dr is equal to du upon 2 so into du divided by 2 into u to the power 3 by 2 is it not now what is that that is equal to 2 pi sigma x upon upon this two cancels so so i don't write this upon 4 pi epsilon naught into this is what u to the power minus 3 by 2 what is the integral of that u to the power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by that right this 2 is gone so it is u to the power minus 3 by 2 du and this integral is pi sigma x upon 4 pi epsilon naught u to the power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is minus half divided by minus half. So again a 2 goes up, right? So it is minus pi sigma x upon 4 pi epsilon naught, okay? A 2 goes up. And this becomes 1 upon root u. And, and root u is what? Therefore, e is equal to minus 2 pi sigma x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into root over root over r square plus x square goes from where to where? It goes from 0 to capital R. Is it not? 
small r goes from 0 to capital R. So what is the value? This is this is this is minus 2 pi sigma x upon 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by root over r square plus x square 0 to capital R. So that makes it minus 2 pi sigma x upon 4 pi epsilon naught into if I put R as capital R, then it is 1 upon root over R square plus X square minus, when it is 0, 1 upon root over X square, that is X. Correct? Correct? This is the field. Looks weird. Right? Looks weird. What if I want the field due to an infinite sheet? Do I, do I erase this? No. Infinite sheet is when radius goes to infinity. No? Yes? Zero to infinity. Yes? Zero to infinity. I didn't get you. Uh, zero to? The limits from zero to infinity. No, no. You just put R as infinity, no? Why not put limit zero to infinity? No, why? Why? Limit zero to infinity means what? A disk of infinite radius field. Oh, inst that's what I'm doing, no? This is after putting the limit. Okay. So I'll put R as infinity so it will become the same, no? So, so this is the field due to a field due to a this is the field due to a, 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 a disk, right? A e disk is that, right? So it is, it is something like this. Maybe uh, I can make it a bit better. This minus goes in, so one upon x comes here, no? So 1 upon x comes here and it was root over r square plus x square which goes there. Do we see that? Minus no? Minus, minus is gone. Yes. Field due to a ring, we should put r tending to infinity Field due to a sheet. Due to a to an infinite sheet. Oh, hold on. Due to an infinite sheet. Right? We should put R tending to infinity in equation 2. Right? So what happens? E sheet is limit r tending to infinity 2 pi sigma x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon x minus 1 upon r square plus x square root over. Now if r goes to infinity this whole thing becomes 0. So it becomes 2 pi sigma x upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 upon x. What happens? x cuts x, 2 pi cuts 2, I get sigma upon 2 epsilon naught. So E due to an infinite sheet is sigma upon 2 epsilon naught and the wonder of wonders is what? If you have an infinite sheet, wherever you go, at whatever distance you are from the sheet, the field is a constant. Because there is infinity all around that too, right? 
farthest you be at infinite distance from that sheet still the field is the same because it's still again at you be the closest you be close to it you you be 1 meter 1 mm away the field is the same you be 200 meters away the field is the same oh yes why should that be why should that be the case because the charge is distributed uniformly over the sheet. How does that change the thing? Distance ka mein to wo dilana hoga na. Hmm? Matter of field to zyada ho jayenge agar distance ka hai. That's what. That's what we feel. But that is not what this tells you. This tells you it is a constant. You be 200 km away from the infinite sheet, you have the same field. You come and stand one millimeter away from it, you have the same field. What could be the possible reason? Let us try to understand. That is fine. But, but, but why is this happening? Why is the distance? Why is it independent of distance? Okay. Why is it independent of distance? Why is it independent of distance? Think. Hmm? 